I'm going to show you guys how to completely optimize your Radeon graphics card to the maximum performance and to boost FPS and fix any extra added input delay. Keep in mind, different Radeon graphics cards have different tweaks. I'm going to dive in and show you the different tweaks that can be done on RX 7000 series, RX 6000 slash 5000 series, and even the older RX 500 slash 400 series. Okay, let's first start off with uninstalling our current graphics card driver by using display driver uninstaller. Head over to the link in the description and download the the Radeon optimization pack so we can get started. Let's create a restore point for our windows in case anything happens. Search up restore in the windows search bar. It's going to pop up with create a system restore point. Just create a system restore point with a familiar name in order to figure this out later on if you do need to use this restore point for whatever reason. All right, everyone. So once you have the Radeon optimization pack downloaded, all we're going to do is going to right click on it and click extract all then press extract. And then the first step that we're going to do is we're going to uninstall the current Radeon drivers. So double click on the first step and then double click DDU, double click display driver uninstaller. Then once you've double clicked that, press OK on that. And then you're going to click select device type, GPU, and then make sure it's on AMD. Then all you have to do is just press clean and do not restart and just give it a second. All right, everyone. So once you've uninstalled your current graphics card drivers, all we're going to do is going to start the process of installing the debloated AMD driver. So go to the second folder, click AMD drivers page, and we're going to make sure to install the radio drivers right before we do anything. So the graphics card that I'll be using today is the RX 6800 XT. So that's what we're going to be choosing in the RX 6000 series website. I'm going to choose that. I'm on Windows 11. So I'm going to choose the latest version for Windows 11 and then wait for that to download. The driver is finished downloading. All you're going to do is you're going to go to Radeon Software Slimmer. You're going to double click Radeon Software Slimmer in the middle. And then now once it's loaded, this is a pretty simple software. All we're going to do is click pre-install on the top and you're going to click browse on the right. And then just go to your downloads folder and find the driver that you downloaded which is going to be right here press next on that and then just press next again and then wait for that to extract the files all right so once it's extracted the files stay in packages you're going to click select none the ones that you're going to keep checked are amd settings you're going to keep amd high definition audio controller checked and amd hdmi audio driver checked and amd display driver make sure you have all of these checked then go to schedule tasks you can turn off all of these so click select none go to display driver components same thing here just click select none then what you're going to do is going to click modify installer on the bottom it's going to remove all that stuff and as you guys can see all that is unchecked or removed and then i'm going to click run installer and it's going to start downloading the radeon driver so let's wait for that once you're on this page i like to uncheck help amd improve your experience by sending systems usage information i don't really want to send my usage information to amd all right everyone, so once the drivers are completely downloaded all you're going to do is click finish and in the radeon optimization pack there's going to be some screenshots on the Radeon settings. So what we're going to do is go to the third option, Radeon settings optimization, and then go to AMD folder. These are going to be some screenshots that you can follow in order to optimize your AMD settings. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to the AMD control panel, as you guys can see. We're going to go to gaming, and then we're going to go to graphics. Then make sure all of this is turned off and then tessellation mode, make sure that's on override, and then maximum tessellation level set to off. And then surface filtering quality, set that to performance, and then surface format optimization, turn that on, and everything else looks fine, right? here what you're going to do is you're going to go to performance at the top tuning and then click custom press i accept now power tuning i would turn this on and just max that out all the way to the top and then fan tuning turn that on and make sure to disable zero rpm and then set the maximum fan speed percentage to 100 percent then vram tuning really important i would set memory timing to fast timing if you have this option however some of you might not have this option which is completely fine then click apply changes then you're going to click the settings icon on the top right you know make sure that check for updates is turned off and then you're going to go to display then what you're going to do is you're going to make sure free sync is turned off however if you want to use free sync that's completely fine and up to you but if you're following this video for info delay turning them off is also a good idea then go to overrides and then make sure htcp support is turned off and then click proceed on that and do that for both monitors it's really important then go to hotkeys i don't really use any of these hotkeys and i don't like them so i'm going to turn them off then go to preferences and turn everything here to off you don't need any of this and that's the amd control panel completely optimized you can now close out of that and now the other thing that we're going to do is going to go back to the radeon optimization pack and then go to the third option you know right click on amd tweaks and click one as administrator what this is going to do is going to do some registry tweaks that apply on a restart that help boost performance and fix stutters on amd graphics cards now msi mode tool right click on this click one as administrator and then make sure that your graphics card is checked just like so and make sure it's set to undefined then once you've done that you can click apply on the top right then you can close out of that we're going to go back 
back to the Radeon Optimization Pack, go to Specific GPU Optimization. Now, depending on your Radeon graphics card, this is really important. It's going to be different for all of you. Now, I'm going to cover 6000 series in this video because this graphics card is a 6800 XT. So I'm going to go to RX 6000 or RX 5000 and I'm going to click More Clock Tool. Now, for 7000 series and 6000 series and 5000 series, this tool just do the same exact settings that I'm doing. So for frequency, I like to set it to 1900 and then I'll leave the maximum at whatever it is right now. And then I like to go to fan. And then as you guys can see, these fan speed curves are terrible. So whenever the graphics card reaches 80 degrees, the fan speeds will only spin 51%. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to increase this to around 75 and then the one right under it to around 60 and the one right under that to 55. And then, then I'll just leave the last one alone because that's not really important. And then I'm going to click set right here, exit out of that. Now, the second thing that you want to do is the more power tool. And this only works on RX 5000 and RX 6000 series. If you have anything that's newer or older, it's not going to work. So I'm going to install this real quickly, as you guys can see, and wait for that to do its thing. I'm going to click launch on that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to select your AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT. So what you're going to do is you're going to go back to the specific GPU optimizations folder. You're going to double click GPU Z, and this is a really important step. Just click no. I'd like to use this classic standalone mode. Under BIOS version on the right, I'm going to click this save BIOS file. I'm going to click save to file, and then I'm just going to save this on the desktop. So just so it's easy to find, then click close, and then you can close out of that. Now in more power tool, you're going to click load, and then you're going to choose this file on the desktop, just like so. Then you're going to click feature control. Now for RX 6000 series, you're going to copy what I do right here. For RX 5000 series, you're going to copy what the image that I'm going to show after doing this is going to look like. So for RX 6000 series, do the following. So we're going to uncheck these DS underscore checkboxes, just like so. Uncheck GFX underscore ULV, uncheck FW underscore D state, and then uncheck GFX off and uncheck BAC zero. And make sure to uncheck DF underscore C state. And that's it for 6000 series. Now, right here, I'm going to put a screenshot of the 5000 series settings. They look a little bit different, but they're kind of the same thing. So as you guys can see, this is the 5000 series feature. Then press OK on that. We're going to go to fan on the right and make sure to uncheck zero RPM enable. Now, once you're done with that, just click right SPPT. It's going to say successfully added, just press OK on that, and then you can click exit. And that's pretty much that for that tool. Now, if you're on an RX 500 or older series, so if you have an RX 590, RX 570, RX 550, or RX 480, you're going to use this tool right called Overdrive End Tool. And what you're going to do is you're going to pretty much uncheck zero RPM, just like so. And then you're going to set timing level to level two, if you have that as an option. And then you're going to pretty much double click on P0, P1, and just have it so P2 is the only one that's not double clicked. Then what you're going to do is these fan curves just like so if they're too low just set them higher so at 80 degrees if it's like 50 percent that's on a higher amount and that's all you have to do is just press apply on that and then you can close out of that if you're on a 500 series or older we're going to pretty much go back to the radio optimization pack and this is a really important step right here that you don't have to do but you can test this out i highly recommend everyone that plays fortnite or anyone that plays valorant or anyone that plays a dx11 game to try this out what i would do right now i would restart the computer hop in a game test out how the game feels for a couple of matches i'd say a day or two and if you feel like everything is running fine then you're good to go however if you notice on dx11 in valorant or if you notice in performance mode in fortnite you are getting stutters or weird hitches then you could try disabling the dx11 optimizations that amd has added in the newer drivers that could cause this now this isn't going to work for everyone and it does lower your average fps at the cost of improving the stutters and removing the fps drops but i would test this out if you have those problems basically what you would do is go to this folder double click Radeon RX configurator folder and then double click Radeon DX configurator and then you can just press do what you like to create a backup file I would just press yes on that and then what you would do is you would you would just click set regular DX 11 just like so and then you would restart your computer and that's all you have to do now to revert it you would just click set DX Navi just like that and then you would just restart it this is very very optional you don't really have to do this if your game's running fine but if you do get stutters occasionally or hitches in DX 11 titles then you can try disabling the optimizations that AMD has added in order to fix those or attempt to fix those. But other than that, you can just restart your computer, hop in a game, enjoy the smooth buttery gameplay that you've just got because of optimizing your graphics card. And that's going to be pretty much it for this Radeon optimization guide. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys increased your FPS and lowered your input delay drastically. Comment down below if this video helped you and comment down below what you want to see next in order to boost your FPS and lower your input delay. Right before I let you guys go, if you guys are interested in a PC optimization service and you guys just are tired of watching videos like this and you just you just want an expert to completely optimize your computer
computer from the bio settings to overclocking to your in-game settings and your windows settings go to the first link in the description zilly.net and book a pc optimization service in order to boost your fps and lower your input delay in any game that you play i'll see you guys in the next one peace out